Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So welcome to Motivation Monday. And in this Monday, I'm going to share with you some lessons that I've learned from my patients, from my own experience. And this one will go about resiliency. When I used to picture the word resiliency in the past, I used to think more of like maybe along the lines of like an athlete, like doing these extremely heroic things and you know, or somebody like basically taking a company that was near bankruptcy and like, you know, turning it around. So I used to think of like these gigantic um, things that had to be overcome. And that to me was resiliency. So the other day I received a patient in the ICU. The patient was a DNR. Um, he was not hospice though. So he was just a do not resuscitate, which they are changing that now to AND, allow natural death. Just, just in case you haven't heard that yet. Um, but this patient, when I was receiving him, he sounded like he was going down any minute. Um, in nursing, we have a term called circling the bucket. It's very graphic. I don't like it. But just to give you a visual of just how bad this patient sounded, it was bad. And then she's telling me, you know, her head to toe assessment. And then she gets to the skin and she was like, you're not going, she's like, I can't even talk about the skin. I'm just going to show you the skin. We can do the dressing changes. You know, you can take pictures. I'll help you out. I don't know where to start. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. So she brings the patient over. She's nice enough to stay with me and help me take pictures and rewrap the patient. And it was just as if all of his skin was falling off. It was so sad. And I remember thinking like, oh my gosh, I wonder if he's even gonna make it through the night. And then the patient's daughter came in the room. The daughter was so adorable. She went to her father, she was like holding his hand and she started talking about when he was going to be home. And I wanted to just like kind of stop the conversation and you know, have a, have a conversation with the daughter. I was just like, oh, he's not like he's not gonna make it out of this room he's not gonna make it out of this bed this is what I was thinking and so she's just you know telling him about what she's gonna cook for him and you know how much fun it's gonna be and how the grandchildren miss him and you know all these things and I'm just like oh my gosh like why are you doing this to yourself honey so I was off for like the next two days and then I returned on that third day and when I returned I was assigned to him I was like oh wow he's still here how nice when I walked into the room though I couldn't believe it I mean this patient that we basically transferred over from one bed to the next we wrapped his in entire skin because it was like all falling off was sitting in the chair eating breakfast and it really had me think you know a lot of times like I mentioned we think of resiliency as these like huge huge obstacles to overcome and big things that we need to do when most of the time resiliency is just taking that next step or getting out of bed or turning the page if you're studying or waking up and going back into work you know resiliency is a quality that I see most centurions have centurions meaning all the patients that I take care of that are over 100 years old and one amazing thing about being in nursing today is that we get to care for so many centurions and that's I think one of the most important things that I noticed from them is that you know they just keep going no matter what no matter how big or how small the step is and they never give up they don't look around at themselves and say oh my god it's doomed they just keep going so anyways I hope that this tip helped you out um, just so you guys know we discharge that patient and he went home to his daughter and he went home to his grandchildren and as far as I know he's still there. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed this motivating tip. I will see you next Monday with another tip. Have a wonderful day. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected guys. No matter where you are in the world join me here every Monday at 6 30 a.m eastern time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book has 
to succeed in nursing school has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining it, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.